Welcome back to part two of the Create Your Own Animation Challenge, The Walking Cat. If you haven't done part one, where you make the cat look like it's gliding across the screen using the move block instead of the glide block, make sure you click the link in the description below for part one first. All right, let's remind you what the challenge is. Your challenge is to make the cat look like it's walking across the screen and make its legs move just like this. You'll notice it looks like it's walking. If you feel like you can do this, jump into Scratch, go ahead and do it. If not, stay tuned for some hints. These hints won't give you the exact way to do it, but they'll give you some tips along the way. All right, let's make a new project as always and jump in. So here's the cat. And Last time we made it move across the screen by making it move 10 steps over and over again. So I'm gonna drag my move 10 steps over here and I am gonna drag it forever. That looks great. Now, I wanna make the legs move and I can't just say the leg, make the legs move. The way you do that is with costumes and costumes are really powerful in Scratch for animations and the costume tabs is right up here and the scratch cat comes with two built-in costumes if I click between them you'll notice their different leg positions and if you switch back and forth between them over and over again quickly it makes it look like it's walking if I wanted to make a smoother walking cat I'd probably make more costumes that it could switch between to make it look a little smoother but for this challenge, you only need to use these two costumes. So how can I control the costume? Well, under looks, there are blocks to control the costume. There's switch costume and next costume. In this challenge, I suggest you use the next costume. Because if you click next costume, it just switches between the costumes. I'm gonna click on costumes over here and it loops through them. So once you hit two, if you hit next costume, it goes back up to number one. So you see, if I click it over and again, and I click it past, it looks like it's walking. Looks pretty good, right? But I wanna do it over and over again. So I am going to put it in this forever block. Now, here's a question. Do I put it before the move, after the move block? Often it does make a difference. In this case, it really doesn't. But however, I like the way it looks if it changes the cost after it moved 10 steps and not before. So I'm going to put it in here and go, whoa, that's a lot faster than it's supposed to be. Looks like it's going crazy legs. So how can I slow it down? Well, unlike when I was clicking it over and over again and it looked perfect, computer does things so fast, it's almost too fast. So you need to pause a little bit, right? How do you pause? Well, there's a block called wait, okay? And this says wait one second. And you can wait one second, but you can also remember wait less than one second, which is a decimal number. So I could wait, wait point three seconds or point one seconds or whatever, okay? So I've given you all the blocks to complete this challenge, but I'm not actually gonna put them in the correct order. You have to do that yourself. All right. Good luck with the challenge and keep on scratching.